Greetings, fellow adventurers, and welcome back to my channel. Greetings, explorers of knowledge. Join us as we embark on a quest to understand Franois Zimmeray. Franois Zimmeray is a lawyer, former politician, human rights activist, and diplomat. Born on 4 July 1961, he was a member of the European Parliament for the Party of European Socialists from 1999 to 2004. Former mayor of Petit Quivelli, he served as president of the Greater Rouen Normandy area from 2001 to 2008. He was appointed on 13 February 2008 as French ambassador at large for human rights by Nicolas Sarkozy and Bernard Kouchner. In 2013, he was appointed as France's ambassador to the Kingdom of Denmark by President François Hollande and Minister Laurent Fabius. He nearly lost his life in the 2015 Copenhagen shootings, Islamist terror attack on February 14, 2015, where he was targeted together with other activists. In this chapter, we'll be shedding light on law firm Zimre and Final and its role in shaping our understanding. In September 2018, on his return from Denmark, he established together with Jessica Final the law firm Zimre and Final. At the same time, he joins with Prince Zaid and Shiran Abegi, Nobel Peace Prize, a team of lawyers very committed to the defence of fundamental rights in the London firm Doughty Street Chambers. In November 2018, the Internal Political Committee of the National Assembly of Venezuela chaired by Juan Guaido designates Franois Zemore to advise and assist him in the international courts and institutions regard to the serious violations of human rights committed in the country. In December 2018, he defended the interests of Saif al muluk Asia Bibi's lawyer, a Pakistani Christian sentenced to death for blasphemy and acquitted at the end of October after having spent nine years in prison. In February 2019 he launched an appeal to the European heads of state to ask them to give Saif al muluk the protection and the status that his heroism calls. With the support of Lawyers Without Borders, SOS Eastern Christians and Bars, he calls on European leaders to allow Saif al muluk to reside and work freely in Europe. As a French lawyer mandated by the NGO European Savvy Organization for Human Rights ESOHR, he defended Rahaf Mohammed in 2019 in Bangkok against deportation back to Saudi Arabia. Rahaf Mohammed, who fled in Bangkok, had intended to claim asylum in Australia and escape her family who she says abused her and threatened to kill her for amongst other reasons leaving Islam an act that is also a capital offence under Saudi law. In April 2019, together with Matthias Fettel and Jessica Final, he seized the special rapporteur on the promotion and protection of freedom of expression of the United Nations to denounce the fate of the Egyptian writer Allah al aswani prosecuted in a military court and banned from published for five years in Egypt. The same year, he became one of the two French lawyers defending Carlos Gozen during his incarceration in Japan. At the request of the family, they both seized the UN to denounce a detention that he considers as medieval. In 2020, the UN Working Group on Arbitrary Detention found that the detention of Carlos Gozen in Japan was arbitrary and in violation of human rights. He also became involved in the defense of a rape and sequestration victim in Switzerland allegedly committed by a Swiss thologist. In 2021, he obtained the release of Fabien Azoulé, a 43-year-old French-American entrepreneur who was arrested during a trip to Turkey and sentenced to 20 years in prison for ordering rim cleaner online, unaware that the product had recently been banned in that country. As we transition, let's shed light on Ambassador for Human Rights and its relevance to our ongoing exploration. As France's ambassador at large for human rights since February 2008, Zemmeray has held a fundamental yet discreet role aiming at spreading the culture of human rights into the French diplomacy. He has been the first non-career diplomat to hold this position since its creation in 2000 and has also had the longest assignment so far. Zimray has worked with five different Ministers of Foreign Affairs and Secretary of State, Bernard Kouchner, Michael Elliott marie Alain Jupp, Romy Yard and Laurent Fabius, then President of the CUP. 
he was chosen to present France's Universal Periodic Review UPR at the Human Rights Council in 2008 and 2012, as well as to represent France to the Alliance of Civilizations and Durban II Conference. Since then, near to 100 diplomatic missions have led him to the Syrian border, Chechnya, Colombia, Gaza, Israel, Sri Lanka camps, Turkmenistan, Burma, Moscow, Thailand, Baghdad, Jordan, Lebanon, Kyrgyzstan, Uganda, Chad, Burundi, Congo, Rwanda, Libya, Algeria, Egypt, Nepal, among others. In October 2011, he went to Tripoli just a few days after the death of former leader Muammar Gaddafi. In November 2011, he was one of the first diplomats to be received in Rangoon by the Lady Aung San Suu Kyi, one month before the official visit of U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. In January and April 2012, Franois Zimmeray went twice to Kharkov prison, attempting to visit former Prime Minister of Ukraine Yulia Tymoshenko. Although he was not allowed to enter the prison and see her, he attended the opening session of her second trial and denounced accusations obviously politically grounded. Zimmeray represented the French diplomacy by attending several trials. He went to Moscow for Mikhail Khodorkovsky's trial, to Kosakstan to support the human rights defender Yevgeny Zeltis. In January 2011, he went to Yuri Lutsenko's trial, in Kiev. In November 2012, he managed to visit Lydia Yeniom in prison, a French Cameroonian lawyer arbitrarily detained in Cameroon since July 9, 2011. She was released from prison in 2016 after her arrest and detention were found to be arbitrary by the United Nations. In May 2013, he also visited Bangladesh after the 2013 Dhaka garment factory collapsed to meet the families of the victims at the ENAM hospital in Suba and express France's solidarity. In Dhaka, he then met with the authorities and all stakeholders contributing to the improvement of labour rights and conditions in Bangladesh and pointed out the human rights issues raised by the factory collapse. In accordance with EU guidelines on human rights defenders, Framois Zimmeray set the following goal, each French embassy has to become a house of human rights. As ambassador in charge of the Holocaust issues, Zemmeray launched different initiatives to raise awareness about contemporary anti-Semitism. He went to Auschwitz several times and supports important projects enhancing dialogue between cultures, such as the Adin project, which had been presented in Bagot in February 2010. Let's now enter the realm of ambassador to Denmark and discover the fascinating stories it has to tell. On October 8, 2013, Franois Zimmeray presented his credentials to the Queen of Denmark. On February 14, 2015, following the Paris terrorist attacks, Zimmeray was invited to give the keynote speech at Krosinen in Copenhagen, a debate on freedom of expression and blasphemy, featuring Lars Vilks and Femen leader Ine Chichenko, when it was attacked by a masked gunman. In this section, we'll be shedding light on human rights and peace activism and its impact on our understanding of the subject. Zimray's commitment to human rights dates back to 1979, when, then aged 17, he founded an association to support and cater for Cambodian refugees in Paris. Thereafter, he made visit to refugee camps on the Thai border, where he forged his political beliefs. Since then, his commitment for human rights has never ended. He played a decisive role in the organization of the European campaign in support for Darfur. In 2007, he visited the Darfur refugee camps in Chad with the French philosopher Bernard Henry Lovey. He raised awareness and managed to mobilize French public opinion as well as political leaders. In May 2009, Zimmeray founded the Alliance of Lawyers for Human Rights, based in Paris offering free legal expertise to associations, NGOs and institutions working in the field of human rights. Zimmeray is also a prominent figure well known for his committed support for the Palestinian moderates and the Israeli peace camp in 2002. He actively supports the People's Voice, the initiative by Palestinians Sori Nasib and Israeli Omi Ehlen. 
Franoise Zimmeray went to Gaza twice and described the attitude of people defining themselves as exclusively in favor of one side against the other pro-Palestinian or pro-Israel as intellectual hooliganism speech at the French National Assembly for Kids Creating Peace. He founded the Circle Lynn Bloom and worked to promote dialogue between European leaders and Middle Eastern political and civil society representatives as chairman of the Medbridge Strategy Centre founded in Brussels with prominent European politicians such as Willy de Klerk, Fran Lotard, Emma Bernino and Anna Palacio. He then had several meetings with Shimon Peres, Mahmoud Abbas and King Abdullah II of Jordan. Now, let's shift our perspective and explore lawyer from a different angle. Zimray is a member of the Paris Bar and the International Criminal Bar of The Hague. He has represented victims in trials of Khmer Rouge leaders, successfully campaigned to free imprisoned political opponents in Laos, and defended a child soldier in Congo Kinshasa before the International Criminal Court. He has also defended cases before the European Court of Human Rights. During 20 years, Zimmeray has worked as a lawyer in the firm Gentit Associates. Back then, he advised individuals as well as French and international companies. With his partners, Hubert Vidrine and Jean-Pierre Duit, he took part in the international development of the Gentit firm. Zimmeray is a member of the French Institute of International Legal Experts IFEJI. He created with Jessica Final September 2018 the lawyer firm Zimmeray Final. Get ready for an enlightening exploration as we dig into member of the European Parliament and understand its role in the broader context. At 37, Zimmeray became the youngest member of the French Socialist delegation at the European Parliament, elected on from Swahoendi's list. He worked in the Legal Affairs Committee and the Foreign Affairs and Defence Policy Committee. He is the author of eight reports adopted unanimously and took part in the framing of the Charter of Fundamental Rights. In 2000, he was the sponsor of a European Parliament motion for a resolution against female genital mutilation. The next year, at the request of Emma Bonino, former humanitarian aid commissioner, Franois Zimmeray went to Laos in order to defend and free a member of the European Parliament, as well as for other human rights defenders. Although member of the socialist group, he did not hesitate to defend the parliamentarian immunities of Charles Pasqua PPE and Marco Panela PDE, respectively in 2002 and 2003. But for the 2004 election, the Socialist Party chose another candidate to represent them, judging Zimmeray to anti-Palestinian. In this segment, we'll be unraveling the complexities of local official and exploring its multifaceted nature. Zimmeray, identified by former Prime Minister Laurent Fabius, first made his mark in 1989 when at just 27 years old he was elected mayor of Petit Quevely 23,000 inhabitants. He became the youngest mayor of a town with over 20,000 inhabitants in France and founded the first association of mayors for environment, Eco Myers. He transformed the city by creating parks, accommodation, new areas and facilities such as the multimedia library Franois Truffaut. He was re-elected two times in the first round. In 2001, he was elected president of the Greater Rhine Normandy area 37 cities, 450,000 inhabitants and launched several urban and cultural projects, the Palais de Sports designed by Dominique Peralt, the renovation of the docks and public transportation's metro cycle. As we transition, let's shed light on views on human rights and its relevance to our ongoing exploration. Zimmeray has stated we face a frequent misunderstanding. Many people place human rights in some kind of moral area and wait for us to answer with symbols, declarations and gesture shown must have the courage to say that human rights are not morality, they are rights that exist or does not exist, that are applied or violated, the right to not be tortured, access to fair trial, equality between men and women. Our action does not only take place in some declaratory and narcissistic style. 
Zemray has commented that he does not like the expression that France is the country of human rights and stated, I know the state of French prisons, I would rather say that France and human rights are like an old couple, and as with every couple there are ups and downs. In his book published after the Copenhagen terror attack he survived February 14, 2015 he advocates against patriarchy, but if, at the end of this journey, I had to choose just one cause that stands above all others. I now know that our determination to empower women to achieve their full potential particularly by educating girls will speak volumes about the future of humanity. It is a cause we can all subscribe to, and I know no higher one. Around the world I have seen women challenge the patriarchal order that subjects them to violence and forces men to serve the empire of domination and performance. The book, Jaivu Partoutlam Visage, I have seen the same face everywhere I went. An ambassador comes face to face with man's inhumanity to man was granted the Pierre Simon Ethics and Geopolitics Prize in Paris City Hall. Plan, Paris 2016. In 2021, he also participated in a collective work paying tribute to Afghan women short after the takeover of Afghanistan by the Taliban's. Let's now turn our attention to distinctions and uncover the fascinating insights it brings to the table. Knight of the Legion of Homme Chevalier de la Légion de Homme Officer of the Royal Order of Cambodia Officer de la Royal du Cambodge Medal of the Paris Bar 2015 Pre-Pierre Simon Award 2016 Category Ethics and Geopolitics Thierry Stelpec, November 2016 Without wasting any more time, let's jump into the fascinating world of anecdotes. He almost lost his life during the 2015 Copenhagen shootings with feminine leader Ina Shechenko, whom he had reunited with in Copenhagen long after he had helped her come to France when she was under threat for her life in Ukraine. All the French embassies in the world have a facade plaque with the Universal Declaration of Human Rights fixed onto. On these plaques, the preamble of the declaration is reproduced with Zimmeray's handwriting engraved. A plastic replica of these packs with handwriting was sent to the International Space Station Columbus on November 14, 2008 after the Arab Spring, Mansaf Marzouki, Tunisia's first democratic president and former president of the Tunisian League for Human Rights, thanked Franois Zimmeray when he was received at the European Parliament for his support while he was deprived of his freedom. The theatre play Bella Figura, written by Yasmina Reza, is dedicated to François Zimmeray. As we embark on the next leg of our journey, let's unpack the layers of public office and examine its core elements. From 1989 to 2001, Mayor of Petit Quevely, Vice President of Greater Rouen Normandy area from 1995 to 2001, Chairman of the District and Community Environment Committee from 1994 to 1999, Departmental Councillor, Normandy from 1995 to 2000, Chairman of the Greater Rouen Sanitation Syndicate from 1999 to 2004, Member of the European Parliament, Member of the Legal Affairs Committee, and Member of the Industry, Trade, Research and Energy Committee from 2001 to 2008, President of the Rouen Urban District Community. First Deputy to the Mayor of Petit Quevely from 2008 to 2013, France's Ambassador at Large for Human Rights, and Ambassador for Holocaust Issues since 2013, French Ambassador to Denmark. I hope you learned something new today. Let me know what you found most interesting in the comments below.